Hey guys. Oopalow. Let's dance. What a name. Oopalow. Great. Dick. Bruh. <laughs> Dick Teak. <laughs> Dip Teak is a fragrance house that is on the rise. While more so known for their lovely candles, the French house of Dip Teak has been releasing more and more fragrances for the unisex niche market. A great way to distinguish between the eau de toilette and the eau de parfums is the color. The black caps and the black accents, those are eau de parfums. The white ones, you guessed it, ED Tizzle. Based on my limited experience with Diptyque, the EDPs, it's a little more masculine friendly, while the EDTs are a little more on the feminine side. Just because they're light, and you know. That sounded sexist, oh god. Tread softly, James. Oud Palau is, you guessed it, an oud fragrance. Oud is agarwood, which is a very heavy, dirty wood fragrance note. But in Oud Palau, Oud is paired with one of its best friends, Rose. As soon as you spray this on, the rose hits you in the face. But after a couple seconds, the Oud starts to make its presence known. And boy oh boy is it present. Oud and Rose really dominates the beginning of this fragrance, but in the middle appears a beautiful cigar-like tobacco note. And to fit the theme of tobacco and cigar lounges, there is a little bit of a slight boozy rum accord as well. And finally, in the deep dry down, the wood becomes a bit softer and it sort of melds with sandalwood and a little bit of patchouli as well. But the oud, rose, tobacco, and rum are what I get the most. Oud Palau famously is known to smell a lot like Oud Ispahan by Christian Dior. In regards to the current formulation of Oud Ispahan, I would say it is more rose heavy. Oud Palau is a little more woody and smoky. <laughs> <laughs> and I would argue that it leans masculine rather than feminine. Why I love this one. Powerful oud rose that a man can really, really pull off. This is one of the most bold Western ouds I've smelled in a long, long time. But even if you're bored of the oud rose genre of fragrances, that's okay, because the dry down is where this fragrance is incredible to me. The boozy tobacco that comes in, extremely nice, but it does take a few hours to settle into that. Why I don't like this? To be completely frank, I'm not crazy about the rose note in this. Considering everything else that's going on and the overall potency of the fragrance, the rose is just a little bit medicinal, a bit syrupy, which is not something I'd ever describe a flower being, where it just puts me over the edge. If I slightly overspray Oud Palau, it's a headache-inducing fragrance. I gotta be honest. It also has heavy projection for the first few hours, so don't wear this in a movie theater like I did. Although I enjoyed it. But I'm sure the 20 people around me did not. Should you buy this? Yes. I absolutely endorse Oud Palau. It's a better version of Oud Ispahan by Dior. Especially for us dudes. The tried and true cold weather pairing of Oud and Rose done so well. But they even brought their buddies tobacco and rum. It's perfect. Don't smell it out of the bottle, okay? Try it on. Smell it for a couple hours, and then you'll get it, okay? You'll know what I'm talking about. And it's important that you do that because don't just rely on what's coming out of my mouth. Think for yourself. Get your own opinion. If you like oud fragrances and you don't necessarily want to spend an absorbent amount of money or delve into real hardcore Middle Eastern oud fragrances, which are on another level, Diptyque is right there for you. 